is the first of a new series that I'm putting together called Repairing Your Knits, and we're going to cover darning in this video. And if you think about repairing your knits and you think about repairing socks, darning is probably the first word that comes to mind. Although you can use darning to repair any damage in any knits, really. It doesn't have to be socks. It just happens to be a good, a good choice for socks most of the time. And the next video that I have coming out is about patching. Darning the first one, the next one's coming out about patching. And kind of um, anytime you're repairing something, those are two really good choices for, um, for repair. But the first thing you have to ask yourself is, what is my main goal with this repair? Is my goal to <clears throat> have a really strong reinforced area of the knitting instead of the hole? Or is my goal to make the, pat the, the repair be as pretty as possible and not necessarily reinforced? So darning is the strong reinforced repair. And that's why it's used in socks is because if you have a hole or a wear spot in the heel or the toe, that all ends up in a shoe and it's not going to show. But you might not want to use darning if you've snagged the shoulder of a sweater. You know, you'd probably want to use something um, something different. Darning, darning isn't fooling anybody. Darning isn't trying to fool anybody. It's not even knitting. It's actually weaving. So it's not trying to match up the stitch of the rest of the work at all. Um, but the, we the woven area that you make is really strong and reinforced, and that's what we're going to show. And what I have here is a darning egg. This is what you, um, if you're repairing socks, this is what gives you a background for working on, on the sock. You do need something to, uh, you don't want the sock collapsing in on itself or anything. You need something in there. So this is a good choice. This is a wooden darning egg that I got online. You can also use uh, a light bulb if you're very careful. I also hear that people use tennis balls. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and work on flat pieces here. I'm working on these flat pieces because the stitches are big and you're able to see what I'm doing better than if I was um, repairing tiny stitches on a sock. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look, get right into this. This is a, um, a, darning, a darning patch in a different color. And I'm doing all, all these in different colors. You can see what they are. Obviously, the work would look better if I did this in the same yarn. But darning is great even if the area that you're repairing is super threadbare and terrible. Darning is a good choice. And I have just an eaten up, terrible bit torn into this in the back there. And this is something I experimented with that I wasn't thrilled with, but it was picking up a stitch and doing the weaving. Actually, it's not bad. Instead of, well, I'll show you, but this was a picked up stitch and this is a, I stitched around the hole and you'll see that in just a moment. <clears throat> and this is a third way of darning where you do it on the back of the work and work up under the purl stitches through. I'm gonna demonstrate, I'm gonna demonstrate these and show you. The, the thing that I don't like about this one is it still leaves the hole in the front of the work. Um, so there's that. Anyway, let's talk about um, the feather stitch darning first. There are so many different ways of doing this, really. Uh, these are the ones, I, I've tried a lot of different methods for a lot of different repairs <clears throat> to bring these videos to you, and these are what I've discovered work the best and are kind of the easiest to understand and work. So, <coughs> excuse me. What I've done here is I've worked a feather stitch around the hole, and uh, this is not a where, I wish I had like, a perfect example, if this was a perfect example, I would be doing this on a worn heel of a sock where the, the, there's a hole and the fabric is threadbare for a while. You want to work this feather stitch, um, just like regular embroidery stitch, into the work uh, beyond the threadbare part. You want to work it into the strong part. And the way that I'm working the feather stitch is I, um, I've come out, I've come to the front of the work here, at the middle of a stitch, I'm going to go one stitch away and then come back up in the center of that stitch and then go one stitch away. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to close that up one more time. So that's the feather stitch. <coughs> I'm sorry, it just started raining outside and now I'm coughing. I wonder if they have something to do with each other. So I've gone all the way around and reinforced this area around the hole and now I'm ready to do some weaving. I think this is pretty fun. 
I'm going to create my warp stitches, which is what they're called in weaving, by going under the there and back down under the two stitches. And of course you want to watch your tension when you're doing this. Just make sure it's nice and even, going both up and down. And of course this is, uh, these are pretty big stitches. And so my weaving is kind of loose. But even if you're repairing a sock, you can use heavier yarn. You don't have to use the same yarn weight. Okay, I have my warp stitches in. And on a sock, you know, the, one of the reasons I said that is because on a sock you're going to have a much finer weave than what we have here on this worsted sample. Okay, now I'm ready to work the other direction. And so I'm just going to weave up and down, up and down, up and down. Scooch that down. And going the opposite way on this side. You can see this is good sitting by the fire, having a family conversation kind of work. Oops, I'm messing up. It's pretty simple weaving, but I still messed up. <laughs> okay, so that's how you're going to work the patch. You'll just finish up your weaving all the way through, um, through the rest of the feather stitches. And then the only thing you want to be careful about is not to tie any knots. Because the fact that this is a worn spot means that this, like, this is probably the bottom of the heel or something. And to put a knot at the bottom of um, the so someone's heel, their sock, is, uh, it would end up being very uncomfortable. Let's say that. So this next thing I want to show you is um, this patching with the, the pearl bumps on the back of the work. Because I thought this was pretty cool. I've got this one started. I'm going to keep going here. So you see, um, this is why this is on the back of the work, so we can work with the pearl bumps. I'm getting the warp stitches going by picking up the pearl bumps, every other pearl bump on the back of the work. And you'll see if you pick up every pearl bump, you won't. Um, it, it, it won't work. You have to pick up every other one and then alternate on each row. And then when you actually get to the hole, you're going to have to skip over it. This seems to me like a good way, a good way of patching socks if you have an area that isn't so threadbare. If you can actually see the pearl stitches and like the sock hasn't felted together so much. And um, yeah, felted fabric or um, threadbare fabric isn't going to be as easy. Anyway, I think this is pretty fun. So you're going to get these um, stitches in, your warp stitches in like this, and then um, work weaving over the whole section the same way we did in the other one. So those are two effective darning styles. There was one other style I showed you for picking up stitches, and I worked up that sample, and I didn't, I think it, it's not as good as these two, not as secure as the, the feather stitch way or um, the back of the work way. Anyway, really good ways of making a reinforced area on, on a hole, and even if the, the socks get worn through again, you can remove the darning and replace it.
It's not bad. Socks will last forever. So this is the first of the Repair Your Knit series. Um, go ahead and click the little I if you want to see the other videos in the series. Next week I have, I think it's next week, I have the patching video that I've talked about that creates a little bit of a neater um, repair to your knits. Good luck. Thank <laughs> you.